Mace Training 2.0 Fitness Fan want to start out by saying thank you for being you. Thank you for the love, support, your commitment to Mace Training Vision, your commitment to us as a coaches. Thank you for affording me the opportunity to be your coach, your mentor to some, life coach to others, and most importantly, affording our amazing staff and Fred, Heather, Ethan, Mama Donna to, to serve you each and every day. Um, we could not do this, obviously, without you. We couldn't even be in this building. We couldn't even do the things that we do. We couldn't even impact the community like we do as a family, a fitness family, if it were not for you. So thank you. Uh, oftentimes, we wait uh, 10, 20 years to tell people thank you. And I just want to tell you today, thank you so much. Um, we've come so far this summer, 10 weeks in. I, I thought we were eight, but it's actually been 10 weeks since we've been busting our butts this summer. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. So proud. The adults, the, the, the youth, the, the high school, college pro athletes that have been through here. We're so grateful. The, the, the kids that came to our football camp, the John Allen football camp, the families, so grateful. We are so grateful for each and every one of you um, just to be able to serve you. Um, and that's really what it's about, um, to give us an opportunity to speak life and to empower you and to encourage you in this thing called life. Because called life. sometimes it can get hard. I'm not even gonna lie, sometimes things get real hard. It gets difficult. And what gets me through oftentimes is being around all y'all. I mean, really, if I'm being honest, it's just being around our fitness family and you know, being around the, 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 this community of support, this love that we have for each other and the ability to keep you know, elevating it and, and, and encouraging each other in our process. Um, that being said, uh, remember, we're gonna be closed Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week, please. Take some time for you to relax. Don't do anything. If you want to walk or go swim in the pool, do something low impact. Don't do nothing high impact. Let your body recover because when we get back on money, we're going back to those quads, the zones, right? The hit, the resistance, the boxing, the, 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 the high volume. We're going to be hitting those four phases. So I want to make sure that we're on the same page as we finish out this last five weeks, right? I know I said eight weeks earlier, but it's five more weeks left in the summer five weeks we can push this we can make this august 31st we have um we have our check-in and i'm telling you, man august 31st i'm gonna turn up I, now and i don't mean turn up for y'all i mean i'm gonna turn up for me i'm gonna hit that goal man i am really focused on hitting a specific weight goal of a certain body fat goal and uh, i made that commitment to myself i made a commitment to my uh, uh my partner, per accountability partner, and I'm making a commitment to you as I fit in this family. It's important that we achieve our goals. It's important that we support each other. It's important that we get behind each other and encourage each other. It's important, especially in a world that so often doesn't do it. And, and the last thing we need to do is service. Service to one another. Be humble, right? Be humble. Stay focused. Stay committed on what matters most. You know, I heard this quote the other day, a giant sometimes looks in the mirror and sees nothing. That was the quote. When I first read it, I was like, what does that mean? Does that mean the giant doesn't believe in himself? No, it means that sometimes people see you already as a giant. You don't need to keep telling yourself you are when other people already see you are. It basically means it was a metaphor for basically stating, stay humble. Stay humble. Love God. Continue to be a light to the world. And most importantly, continue to serve. That's what it's all about. Nothing else matters because at the end of the day, we ain't taking nothing with us. Only thing, only thing we leaving behind on this earth is the legacy we left with speaking life into those people that we love. And I love each, each and every one of you. And thank you for allowing us to speak life into you every day. We love you and God bless you. Have a great few days off. We'll get back to work on, on, uh, on Monday, July the 31st. Love you and God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great week.